Hi, I'm Stephanie Wood and I'm one of the participants in this Art Every Day Month challenge. And as I've started trying to make things, which I haven't in a really, really long time, I think I made two things in the last three years, so sitting down and making things is really bringing up a lot of stuff for me. And so I'm an EFT practitioner and I thought while I tap through my stuff, someone else in the group may also have some challenges around this and this may help you as well. So um, today for this video, I'm going to tap on feeling really frustrated that I can't just sit down and make stuff that I like after so long, which is, I know it's logically ridiculous, but I'm feeling really frustrated about not being able to make, uh, not being able to have the technical skill when I haven't been practicing. So just, it's a reality that it's just, haven't I haven't done it. And also just frustration at, you know, I pull out my art supplies and I'm out of black you know, paint or something. So just like frustration, just that feeling really frustrated. So when you do tapping, you don't need to know what you're doing. Just follow along with me. If you want any more information, email me and I can send you a link to, um, to how to tap or the tapping points if you like them. So I'm just going to start tapping. So I start by rating, uh, my, in my intensity of my feeling on a scale of zero to 10. And right now my frustration level when I check in, I can feel my face starting to get frustrated and angry as I think about it. I'd say I'm at about an eight. So I'm going to just start tapping. So you start by tapping on the side of your hand. Oh my God, I'm already angry. So even though I feel really frustrated and angry, and you can just repeat after me if this is an issue for you. I feel really frustrated and angry that I can't just sit down and make what's in my head. <laughs> have it look that way, which I know is ridiculous, but this is about how you feel about it. I accept myself as best I can, even though I feel really frustrated and I feel it in my head and my face and in my upper back. And it's helpful to name where you feel the, the emotion about it. I accept myself as best I can in this moment, even though logically I know it's ridiculous. Emotionally, I am super frustrated. <sighs> and that's just how I feel. And then I'm gonna tap through my points. And this is basically just a mind-body um, technique that uses acupressure points. So the top of the head, I feel really frustrated. Inside of the eyebrow, one or both hands, I feel so frustrated right now. <laughs> Side of the eye, I feel really, really frustrated. Under the eye, I feel so frustrated under the nose. I feel so frustrated that I can't make things that are in my head. Chin. I feel really, really frustrated that I can't sit down after three years and just bang stuff out. <laughs> Collarbone. I feel really frustrated and I feel stupid that I even think that I could do that. Under the arm and it's just on the bra strap and for a guy it's just, just right under your arm there. I feel really, really frustrated about all this. And the wrist, I like the wrist points. I feel really frustrated about this. And then take a breath while I'm taking a breath. <sighs> okay, so for me, my frustration's gone down to about a six. So I'm gonna do another round. And if you still feel frustrated, tap along with me. So whatever your frustration is, it might be that you notice that there's frustration about something else. So just tapping on the side of my hand, even though I still feel frustrated. I accept myself as best I can, even though I know this frustration is interfering with being creative big time. I accept myself as best I can in this moment, even though I feel really frustrated still. And I feel like I shouldn't feel frustrated but I do. That's just how I feel. And then I'm going to tap through the points and just tap along with me. If you're tapping with this, I still feel frustrated. Inside the eyebrow, I still feel really frustrated. Side of the eye, and you can use one or both hands, it doesn't matter. I feel really frustrated that I haven't made anything in so long under the eye. And I feel like I should be able to sit down and just pick up where I left off without practicing. Under the nose, I feel frustrated. And what just came up is I feel impatient. 
Okay. So, and this might happen for you. You might still feel frustrated. Use whatever words you want. So for me, I feel frustrated and impatient with myself. Okay. Collarbone. I feel frustrated and impatient under the arm. I feel really frustrated and impatient with the process of practicing and the wrist. I feel really frustrated and impatient and take another breath. Okay. Wow. Just saying it out loud seems to help too. <laughs> so, uh, lines down to about a four <clears throat> and I notice it's more, um, there's some other feelings coming up. So I'm just going to tap through the points without doing the setup because once you've done it a few times, you don't need to always do the setup statements. Although some people like to do it over and over, but I'm just going to tap through. So I feel impatient about the process inside of the eyebrow. I feel like I should be able to sit down and just make nice stuff side of the eye. I feel like I should be doing better. And the shoulds are just like the kiss of death. So, <laughs> so we're just going to tap, I'm going to tap on my shoulds. And if you have some shoulds, throw them in there under the eye. I should be better at this, even though I haven't made anything in three years, which is, I know it's ridiculous. So under the nose, I feel like I should be able to be better at this. Chin, I feel like I should be doing better. Collarbone. I have a whole lot of shoulds about creativity. Under the arm, I have so many shoulds. I should be better. I should have practiced. And the wrist, I should be able to just sit down and make stuff. And I was gonna keep tapping through, top of the head. This shouldn't be hard. That's, 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 that's a big one right now. This shouldn't be so hard. Inside of the eyebrow, this shouldn't be so hard, but it is side of the eye. I feel like this shouldn't be so hard, but it is under the eye, or at least I think it is <laughs> under the nose. And now I'm feeling like the intensity has gone down significantly. So I'm going to switch to more positive wording. So I'm open to the possibility and the chin that it's okay that this is challenging collarbone. I'm open to the possibility that it's okay to have to practice a lot to get better. Logically, I get that. Okay. Under the arm. What if it's okay that I have a whole crap load of practice ahead of me <laughs> and the wrist? What if that's really okay? Top of the head. What if it's really okay to just relax around this inside of the eyebrow? And what if it's okay that I can't get onto paper what's in my head yet? Side of the eye. What if I could be patient with myself and the process under the eye? What if I could really be patient? What if it's okay to be patient under the nose? I give myself permission to just make make whatever and not be attached to the outcome. Chin. It's okay to not be attached to the outcome. That might be a whole nother tapping thing. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Collarbone. I release all the rest of this frustration under the arm. What if it's okay to feel a little impatient and the wrist I give myself permission to release this remaining impatience. And now take a breath. Okay, so I'm gonna check in with myself, check in with how you feel. Um, my frustration level is down to about, to about, actually only like a one to two. And yeah, I feel a little bit better. I hope that you're, if you're tapping along with this, that you do too. If you have any questions, uh, just put, put it in the comments or email me and uh, I'll probably see you in the next video because I'm going to make one about perfectionism. Okay, thanks. <laughs>